Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 10 June 2021. Coming to you this evening from the lobby of the Cross Creek Resort Titusville, PA. On the eve of the 2021 Great Eastern Cutlery Rendezvous. I'm administering the sale, hanging out with my traditional slip joint homies in Titusville. It's going to be fun. We've got 35 items for your consideration tonight. Prices are right. And you didn't think... I was going to have a Rendezvous Week knife sale without some GEC product, did you? Well, I'm not going to disappoint. Let's see, we got a lot to do tonight. We better get into the housekeeping. First up, I need you to be familiar with and agreeable to the terms of the sale. If you're going to purchase a knife this evening, in any evening, I'm going to post them on the screen for you in just a moment so you so you can read them. I'll also reprint them in the description underneath this video if it's easier for you to read them that way. Also in the description underneath this video, at the very top, you're going to see three links to prior videos on this channel. The first one to my Primer for Buyers video. That is a 38-minute 30, expanded explanation of the terms of the sale. If any of them are confusing, that video will explain why we do things the way we do. Second link is to my FAQs for consigners video. If you're interested in moving some of your collection along using this weekly sales event, that video explains how it all works from the consigners perspective. The third link, as always, is to my rates and services video for the Apostle P Knife Service, the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. So yes, in the description, you will find those three links, followed by the terms of the sale, and then at the very bottom, the list of tonight's inventory, complete with timestamps to the video, as well as pricing. Over in that pricing column, you're generally going to see two numbers. The number to the left of the slash is your as-shown price for any given knife. The number to the right, your as-sharpened by the Apostle P Knife Service. FYI, because I am not going to be home tomorrow, Friday the 11th, there will be no next day sharpening this week for knives purchased in tonight's sale. So you're looking at about three weeks before a knife will ship um, if you want it to be sharpened. And most of the time, you do. All right, I think that's about it for the preliminaries. Let's get the terms up on the screen for you. And then we'll be right back with the sale. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? First up, before we get into the fresh stuff this week, I have two leftovers from last week's sale. First, in this rather large and elaborate box from Masters of Defense. Inside the box, there's a card and some more literature and all the usual stuff. Here is the knife. This is the MOD LTC. 875 automatic. I believe LTC stands for Large Tactical Clip Point. So this is an American-made button lock automatic knife. And this, according to my consigner and his research, this is a rather early MOD LTC 875, not made by Microtech. The handle, the, uh, the scales are sort of a dark blue-gray, almost a gunmetal fiberglass reinforced nylon. Then you've got some I think this is pre-track tech. This feels like sandpaper skateboard tape, but it's in really fine shape. Handle on this knife is five and an eighth inches. The blade, you gotta take the safety off, dummy. You gotta take the safety off. The blade is a three and five eighths inch clip point. Gorgeous swedge, nice fuller. 
serrations back at the base in the recurved area which is kind of the right thing to do with serrations DLC coated blade of 154 cm lockup is rock solid blade centering is right down the middle the action is reliable but not particularly fast kind of, kind of a bit hydraulic but it locks up tight condition on this knife is going to be near mint to like new in box uh, we tracked one of these recently on Arizona Custom Knives. That was a plain edge knife. It sold recently for $185. This one we put up last week for $175. It didn't sell. We dropped it to $150 on Saturday. It's still here. So somebody gets to pick this bad boy up this week for $140. $140 like it is. $160 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. That is the Masters of Defense. LTC 875 Auto. Next up, from The Benchmade Knife Company, Oregon City, Oregon, we have a number 51-1801 Morpho Ballast Song. So this would have been the first special run from 2018-1801. What makes it special? I believe it's that orange G10. Yep, so it's a regular 51 Morpho, titanium liners, this time in a blasted finish, a blasted clip, and then those gorgeous orange G10 liners. The blade, a wicked spear point in D2 with a gorgeous stone washed finish. Blade length is 4 and 3 16 on the Morpho. Handle length is 5 and a 16 other than a very slight amount of wear on the clip, just like a scuff that goes across the Benchmade name, the knife is essentially like new. So we're going to call it near mint in box. And let's see, these are out of stock at 285. Obviously discontinued. We're not going to make a 2018 special run ever again. <clears throat> So they're gone at 285. We ran it last week for 225, no takers. Dropped it to 200 on Saturday. It's still here. So this will be the last and final price you see. So somebody needs to buy this thing so I don't have to mail it back. 185 this week. 185 on the Benchmade 51 1801 Morpho. 205 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. Okay, that does it for leftovers. Time to get to the fresh stuff. And we're going to start you out with a Kershaw made in the USA. And if you look in the upper left-hand corner of the box, it says FSS Factory Special Series. Well, what is it? It's a blur. Model number 1670 NBM4. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This might be the coolest looking blur I've ever seen check out that blue they call it a navy but it's really a royal blue hard anodized aluminum is that kind of a special track tech pattern especially on the clip side i don't know mm -hmm. now this one is wearing i don't know whose clip this is i forgot to look that is it a Lynch? I don't know. i got to check the box because I forgot to write down whether the original clip is in here. It is. Okay. But I like that clip. It is, of course, a deep carry titanium, and it's flame anodized to kind of tie in with that blue handle. Pretty cool. Of course, the blur has the best thumb studs ever. Speed safe spring assist. I don't know what the black coating is. I think it's Cerakote, and it is CPM M4. Still got some factory lube oozing out of that pivot. The knife's like new, except for my greasy fingerprints. Decent factory edge, not bad. So, there's your lock engagement. Secure, rock solid. Blade centering is 
it might favor the left ever so slightly. Speed safe action. Racket. So let's see. These are out of stock. New. I looked at the sold listings on eBay. They're run between 99 and 130. Um, this one is like new in the box and you get that gorgeous flame anodized titanium clip. Um, let's see, let's do 120 shipped priority mail, 145 if you like it with an Apostle P edge. If you look on eBay guys, they're all going to be between 120 and 130. That $99 sold was probably one that was a little ate up. This one like new in the box. <clears throat> That's the Kershaw 1670 NBM4 Blur. Next up, we have a real beast from Zero Tolerance. It is the ZT0350 TSST. Uh -huh. What does that mean? Well, let's take a look. Oh, I think the TS stands for Tiger Stripes, and it does. The ST stands for those brilliant Kershaw slash ZT serrations. So the 350, as most of you know, was kind of the entry level ZT Onion speed safe knife, S30V spear point blade, kind of organically shaped, black G10 handle. No fancy milling going on, just standard texture G10. This is wearing a deep carry titanium clip. The original is in the box. There's your lock engagement. Rock solid. Blade centering on the 350 is perfect. Hard to see, but it is. Speed safe action is speed safe. Okay. Condition on this is like new in the box with that deep carry clip, original clip in the box. Uh, they're out of stock. When they were in stock, they were 164 at your favorite web retailer. I found sold ones on eBay between 132 and 157. This one can be yours, like new in the box. 120 bucks shipped, priority mail. 140 if you'd like it with an Apostle PH. That is. The ZT 0350 TSST. Next up, it's time for a, an arachnid invasion. We get a bunch of spider coats coming up, guys. The first one in the tiny box, the knife inside is the little native, Plain Edge. The little native. This is kind of your standard variety little native, black G10 handle. A beautiful bead blasted S30V blade, 2 and 7 16 in length, the handle 3 and 7 16. You got your deep carry paper clip clip, reversible left hand, left or right tip up, compression lock, nice free drop in action, blade centering is beautiful. I like the uh, compression lock on the native or the little native because you can actually flick it open with your thumb. Mm -hmm. Lock up is rock solid. Action's perfect. Centering's perfect. Condition is going to be like new in the box. These are widely available, brand new, at your favorite web retailer for $129.50. $129.50. This one can be yours, like new in the box. Perfect mechanics. 105 shipped priority mail 105 on the little native and then 125 if you'd like it with an apostle p edge how about that next up it's another tiny box another tiny box this one houses a dragonfly 2 gitd glow in the dark here it is it, this frn kind of looks like natural g10 until you turn off the light and then it looks like this uh -huh. what a great knife first knife for a kid now, that's what i like about the glow in the dark frn blade steel is vg10 
And this one would be like new in the box, except if you look closely, if I can, I'm going to have to do a little wipe for you here. There is an ever so fine scratch that runs kind of this way, but it's really fine. Lockup is perfect. Kind of hard to talk about the action on Dragonfly. Centering is close, but favors the right side just a little bit. So we're going to call it near mint in box. Uh, web pricing on these is 84 but at that price level you're probably gonna have to pay some postage or you just buy this one for 70 bucks and that is shipped priority mail to your door 70 bucks 90 if you like it with an Apostle P edge that's the spider code dragonfly 2 GITD please note the GITD when you send your I'll take it because there's another dragonfly later in the sale we don't want you to miss it because you forgot to specify Next up, another Spider Co. This one is hard to read there. Let's go to this end. How about a Salt 2 yellow handle? So the Salt 2 from Spider Co. is, of course, the stain proof H1 version, H1 steel, mm -hmm, of the Delica, right? And you're going to notice the blade has that old hollow saber Delica grind. <clears throat> H1, a very cool steel because it is impervious to rust. And it's a work hardening steel. So it's kind of like the more you sharpen that edge, the harder it gets. The serrated ones really hold an edge well. But the plain edge ones are no slouch. Uh, let's see. Lock up, rock solid. Action, nice and free. Centering on the salt is perfect. Uh, I'm going to call this near mint instead of like new. There's just a little, and boy, you really have to get the light right to see this. Right there, there's just a little funky coloration, like a stain. Right next to my thumb. Uh, very hard to see. You're not going to notice it. This is a user knife. So near mint inbox, your price on this one, uh, let's see, if you buy them new, they're 96 bucks at your favorite web retailer. This one can be yours for 75 shipped priority mail, 95 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. That is the Spider Coast Salt 2. Next up, whoever thought we'd see the day when you couldn't find a new Spider Co military this is the wrong box but it is a military <clears throat> I think they've discontinued the knife guys I've got a couple of these running tonight and there aren't any in stock this one is kind of the coolest military ever black g10 black hardware black blade this one is wearing an orange peel black titanium deep carry clip from MXG the original clip is in the box. The blade, DLC coated S30V. Action is stupendous. Lockup is rock solid. Centering is down the middle. Condition is going to be near meant to like new in the box. Wrong box. Um, the, uh, the reason I'm not going to call it like new because it's got an extremely slight, you probably can't see it little tiny roll at the tip um, that'll disappear the first time you touch it up but it's there but a super nice milli from a mechanics point of view and you got that deep carry MXG clip uh, so let's see they're out of stock at 210 guys gone Sold listings for the all-black version of the military on eBay between 200 and 227. They are creeping up. This one can be yours. 175, like it is. 195 with an Apostle P edge. That is the Spider Co. Military murdered in your inventory. Next up, oh, oh, long reach. Another Spider Co. And it's another Spider Co. Military. The box says dark blue G10 and S110V. We know that as the 
S110 Burple Military. Yes, we do. That's how it's going to show up in your inventory. There are your Burple G10 scales. and Oh, look. Oh, my. That has a flame anodized deep carry titanium with Casey Lynch clip. The original clip is in the box. There is your S110V blade. Free drop in action. Centering is... I wrote perfect, but I think it might favor the lock side ever so slightly. And there's your lock engagement. It's perfect. Okay. Condition on the knife is like new in the box with the Lynch clip, original clip in the box. And let's see. They're out of stock and they're probably discontinued. When they were available online at your favorite web retailer, they were $224. Sold listings currently on eBay are running between $224 and $254. Yep, they're no longer super cheap on the used market this one however can be yours for 195 dollars 220 with an apostle p edge 195 like it is 220 sharpened on the spyderco military s110 purple next up <clears throat> we have a spyderco mm -hmm. yes we do and we have a paramilitary to what it's a warm cliff. Yep, this was a dealer exclusive for cutlery shop. Black G10 satin blade. This is wearing a gorgeous satin finish titanium Casey Lynch deep carry clip. The original clip is in the box. And there is the blade. S30V warm cliff blade. Super, super free swinger. Dead center down the middle is your blade. And lockup is rock solid. Condition is going to be like new in the box with that satin finish titanium deep carry Lynch clip. This knife is out of stock. When it was available, it was $220 at Cutlery Shop. How about, let's see, sold listings on eBay running between $190 and $242. Let's just put this at the bottom of that, and it is a perfect example like new in the box. 190, like it is. 210 with an Apostle P edge that's in your inventory as the Spyderco Para 2 Horn Cliff. Next up, I should have run these together because I've got triplets in this coloration from Spyderco. We have a Paramilitary 2 S110V. And yes, it rocks the purple G10, and it rocks the flame and ice Casey Lynch deep carry clip, original clip in the box. And there's your S110 V blade. Did I forget to wipe it? I might have. Lock up, rock solid. Almost a free dropper, and beautiful centering. Condition, like new in the box. So the S110V Para 2 is out of stock right now. What? It became a regular production knife, and now you can't find a new one. Uh, but they were 196 map pricing. They gone. This one can be yours with that gorgeous Lynch clip. 160, 160 like it is. 185 with an Apostle P edge. Now pay attention, guys. There's a military with that exact coloration. And that blade steel and that clip. Now you got a paramilitary 2, 160 like it is, 185 sharpened. What's next? Well, how about a Spider Coat Para 3 S110V? Doggone it, we didn't get the flame anodized clip on this one, but we do have a deep carry KC Lynch titanium clip, purple G10. You could do your own flame anno if you wanted to. There's your S110 D blade. Lock up, rock solid. Free dropping action. And perfect centering. Condition is like new in the box. 
I think you can find the pair of three purple S110V online for 189 bucks. Or you could just buy this one like new in the box. 155. 155 like it is. 180 with an Apostle P edge. By the way, the original clip is in the box for this one. That is the Spyderco Para 3 S110 Purple. Next up, it is another Spyderco. This one is the Ikuchi CF. I think all Ikuchis are CF. This one hails from Taichung, Taiwan. The scales are that newer style, more deeply textured carbon fiber over G10 laminate. It wears the deep carry reversible left or right hand tip up paperclip clip. The handle on the Akuchi 4 and 3 8 inches in length. A superb low profile sort of front flipper, but it really operates conventionally. Oh, yeah, flips beautifully. Look at that very slightly trailing point blade. S30V is your blade steel. Length is 3 and 5 16 Although there is no opening hole, there is a round hole in the blade, which is kind of neat because it lines up with the hole in the handle. Huh, huh when it's closed. It is a compression lock knife. Not quite a free dropper, and you can swing it closed if you get your timing right. Uh, centering is perfect on this knife. I think my light's reflecting badly, but I don't know. It might be favoring the right side ever so slightly. I might tighten that up a little. I don't know. Anyway. Lockup's rock solid, I believe. Yes, it is. Condition on the Akuch is near mint to like new in the box. They sell online at your favorite web retailer for a map pricing of 140 This one can be yours. 130 I'm sorry. How about 110 110 like it is. 110 like it is. 130 with an Apostle P. Edge. That is the Spyderco Ikuchi. Next up. From Spyderco. Oh, this one from Golden, Colorado, USA Earth. We have a shaman. Just a plain old shaman. With black G10 and a stonewashed blade. Yes, we do. There is that sort of smooth finished, satin finished 3D machined black G10. This is wearing an orange peel black MXG deep carry titanium clip, which of course is reversible to all four positions. <clears throat> the original clip is in the box, by the way. Uh-huh. Shaman, I, I kind of think the Shaman is a neat story because it didn't start out like a house of fire when it was released. And then they started doing sprint runs. And then all Shamans just shot up in value. Um, it's a heavy-duty compression lock knife. And this one's kind of set up not to swing free, but you can sort of snap it, snap it toward you. And it will close. Thick blade stock, thick stop, stock, stop pin. Rock solid lockup. Centering's beautiful. Um, I don't think my uh, consigner knew this when he sent it. He forgot that he had a blade etched. So, if your initials are LJD, bonus. If they're not, eh, use it. So, condition's going to be near mint in box, etch noted. Um, believe it or not, the Shaman is out of stock right now at all the retailers I could find. When they're in stock, they're 210 map pricing. This one could be yours near mint in the box, etch noted. How about 175? 175 like it is. With, of course, the MXG clip. 195 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. That is the Spider Co. Shaman. Next up, it's time for the buy of the sale, my friends. Yes, it is. From Spider Co. Golden Colorado USA Earth. It's par paramilitary too. Black. But then it's re reprice tagged. This knife was purchased from Smoky Mountain, I think. Yeah. Because in the box with the knife, you get the Spider Co. coin. 
and on the back of the coin it says Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Now this isn't just a uh, paramilitary too, guys. There's more to the story. Let's see, let me get the box back out. Because inside the box are your black G10 scales. And this knife was actually purchased like this from Smoky Mountain <clears throat> with a set of stonewashed fly titanium, titanium scales. The black hardware and black DLC blade are retained in the knife, S30V. By the way, rock solid lockup, free swinging action, and perfect centering. Condition near mint in the box with coin. Here's the catch. There's no clip. Uh, guy carried it in his pocket, lost the clip. I don't think that's a real hard item to get a hold of, guys. So, as you can see from the tag, it sold for $199 at Smoky Mountain. If you bought a murdered paramilitary two, that would cost you one sixty-eight. If you bought a set of flitanium scales to go with it, those are seventy-nine bucks. You do the math. This one can be yours near mint in box, perfect mechanics with the knife fork spider co coin or not knife works, smoky mountain. Right? How about 140 bucks? Are you kidding me? 140 like it is. 160 if you'd like it with an apostle piedge. That's in your inventory of Spider Copera 2 Flytanium. Next up, a knife I've never had in my hand before. It comes to us from Lion Steel. I get it, I don't do this very often, but this is kind of the coolest box I've seen in a long time. Look at that interesting box. And it opens like that. And you got this corrugated clamshell stuff going on. Kind of neat, different. I haven't seen it before. It tells you how much I'm paying attention. Mm -hmm. Inside that box comes the Lion Steel MT01 CVG Mito MYTO. This one wearing the OD green canvas micarta scale. This is kind of a cool knife. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. Kind of a smoky anno or some kind of coating on the titanium you have a fully milled titanium deep carry clip that's reversible to left or right with that end mount that lion steel likes to do the knife comes with a tool i think the center is for the the clip nut and then you got i think a t8 on one end and a t6 on the other to get to all your screws pretty cool that's important because the flipper on this knife is removable for European carry, I believe. So inside the Mito resides this gorgeous drop point blade. M390, three and a quarter inches of satin finished loveliness by Maletta. The handle, four and three eighths. It is, of course, a titanium frame lock with steel insert. And a ball bearing mechanism and there's the screw that holds your flipper on the knife not sure how you open it without the flipper but you can take the flipper off hmm very beautifully made this one is near mint in the box uh, it has been sharpened it's got a polished edge on it and although it's not super refined you can find some Differences in finish. You can see some of the old factory edge grind if you look close, but it's quite sharp. Um, quite sharp. So we're going to call it near mint in the box. These knives are 204 at your favorite web retailer, brand new. This one comes with a better than factory edge. Near mint in the box with all the goodies, right? Your price, 160, 160, like it is 185 if you'd like it with my edge on it. That is the Lion Steel. MT-01 CVG Mito. Next up, our second Lion Steel on tonight's sale. Uh -huh, comes in the little box. And here's the knife. This is the Lion Steel SR-22A. So the aluminum version of the SR-22. Kind of an update to what were they? The SR... I forget what the first ones were. So you get the aluminum integral handle hard anodized black it's aluminum 
frame lock knife with a steel lock face insert. You got your old line steel roto block, your shorty sort of deep carry satin clip that resides on either side. Right? It is a ball bearing flipper. What were they? The SR2? The old ones with the nylon washers. This is on bearings. And it's a lot better looking package, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they were the S the small ones were the SR2. And this is the smaller version. I think the the uh, the update large one is the SR11. Is that right? Come on guys, check me out. So this one you got a three and an eighth inch blade, Sleipner steel, gorgeous satin finish, and a bona fide convex edge from the factory which I think is super cool. And they did a pretty nice job on it. So there's your lock engagement. It is rock solid. There's your free swing and ball bearing action. Blade centering be right down the middle. Condition on this knife, guys, is going to be like new in the box. Um, web pricing at your favorite retailer, if you want to buy a new one, is going to be 146 this one can be yours, 110. 110 like it is, then 130 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. That is the Lion Steel SR22A. Next up. Boy, you got a lot of collaborators on this knife. So it was sold at drop. It was manufactured by Protec. It was designed by Ferrum Forge. Mm -hmm. You guys probably already know what it is. It is the button lock ball bearing flipper, the Mordax. This one wearing the hard anodized black aluminum handle. There's your Ferrum Forge maker's mark. Nice little smoky PVD deep carry clip. Beautiful flipper. Beautiful flipper. Beautiful forward shoil. Gorgeous drop point blade. By the way, CPM 20 CV. Blade length on this is three and five eighths. The handle nice and efficient, just four and five eighths. In the hand, in any position, this knife is gorgeous. There's your free swing and ball bearing action. There's your perfect blade centering. Lock up be rock solid. Now this one has been sharpened by the consigner, not particularly well, but it's probably sharper than it was when it left the factory. So we're going to call it near mint in the box. Uh, this knife is out of stock at drop. Who knows when they'll drop again. They have sold a few of these on eBay between 228 and 300 sold listings. This one can be yours. Probably too cheap. 200 bucks. 200 like it is. 225 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. This is in your inventory as Protec FFKW Drop Mordax. Mm -hmm. Next up, from the Benchmade Knife Company and their Hunt series, we have a hard to read because I can't get it to show up right because the box is so big. Anyway, it's a 15017-1 Hidden Canyon Hunter. I've got it in the orange and black Kydex factory sheath which is a pretty nice little piece, but also comes with a rather nicely made and finished leather sheath. Uh -huh. Here's the knife. What a little thing of beauty for a hunting knife, guys. S90V blade. This is a first production version. It's broad and it's ground thinly. A very nice little hunting knife. You got your rearward and forward sets of jimping so you can index the thumb if you go saber you can index that front set of jimping if you're in a pinch grip and you're working in a dark space and you don't want to know and you want to know where your tip is right gorgeous stone wash very cool handle i'm not sure what wood they use it's a laminated wood product but it looks great orange g10 liners Nice little lanyard hole. Yeah. Nice package. Indeed. Let's see. The blade's two and seven eighths. The handle's three and three quarters, by the way. 
we'll call this one near mint to like new in the box. Matte pricing on these brand new is one ninety five. This one can be yours. A buck sixty. One sixty like it is one eighty five sharpened on the bench made fifteen oh seventeen dash one hidden canyon. Next up. Well this is an interesting box, isn't it? It's a long white box that says Chris Reeve Knives. Inside this box resides a Nyala Drop Point Black Canvas My Car. I love the Nyala. It's kind of like a fixed blade Sabenza. This one was manufactured, born on February 27th, 2019. Uh -huh. Comes in a super well made black leather sheath. Big brass grommets, nice fat welt, beautiful belt loop. Here's the knife. Oh my, it's Idaho made. Just look at that. It is gorgeous. Mm. So the Nyala has an S35 VN blade, as you well know. Blade length, three and seven eighths. Handle length, four and five eighths. 3D machined, nicely milled for texture, removable scales in black canvas micarta. This one is near mint to like new in the box. Uh, retail price on these anywhere you look is $250, guys. $250. This one can be yours, shipped to you by priority mail for $190. $210 if you'd like it with an Apostle P. Edge. That is the Chris Reeve Nyala. Next up, from Ohio Way, and Lon Humphrey, the custom knives, it's time to turn the tape. Oh, let's see if I can get my tape loose. Ooh, barely. So which Lon Humphrey is it? It is a 3V Tarpon in dark curly maple with orange liners and i'm going to get to the knife in a minute but look at that sheath i'm telling you what that thing is a work of art it really really is bicolor leather nice little stiffener at the top and it's not wet form but i want you to hear this if you can even hear it yeah, it is rock solid. This knife really is begging for a lanyard. So the Tarpon, one of very few Lon Humphrey knives that doesn't have Brute de Forge styling. Still got that nice nice spine. Not quite bright polished, but a satin to match the face of the blade. Yeah, Lon can actually do a nice satin, for those of you who didn't know. So the Tarpon, a great little EDC fixed blade. Super nice in the hand. Two and 11 sixteenths blade. Four and a quarter inch handle. So you got plenty of real estate in your hand, but a nice little working blade in 3V. Let's see if you can see those liners. There you go. Ground pretty doggone thin for a line. I think the consigner has touched this one up. Other than that, it's like new. So... We're going to call it near mint in box, used and sharpened. Uh, these went quick, I believe. They're out of stock everywhere that I could find. This knife would have been $230, I believe, web pricing, right? This one can be yours, though. Shipped priority mail, $180, $180 on the Lon Humphrey Tarpon in 3V. If you'd like my edge on it, add 20 so 200 bucks with an Apostle P. Edge. Yep. Next up. Another Spider Co. Yep. Another little box. This is a Dragonfly 2 in blue with a K390 blade. Man, a little knife like this in K390, I think you could probably use it daily with that factory edge and not sharpen it for about two years. K90, although has a different chemistry than M4. 
Uh, as some people are so eager to point out, it performs almost exactly like M4 in my experience, using and sharpening. It is a non-stainless tool steel. You might see it developing sort of a bronze hue in spots, even though the knife is like new in the box. You can tell by the satin that K390 does not like to be ground. Rock solid lockup. Nice dragonfly action, centering down the middle. Uh -huh. I think that looks more like a teal than a blue. I think it's a cool looking handle color. So near mint to like new in the box. Perfect action centering lockup. These are out of stock. Out of stock. I think this was like a factory sprint run. They, they ran $101 when they were available at your favorite web retailer. Sold listings on eBay currently between $94 and $125. This one can be yours. $90, bucks, guys. $90, and then $110 if you like it with an Apostle P. Edge. That's in your inventory. Is Spider Code Dragonfly 2 K390. Make sure you include that in your I'll Take It because there's another Dragonfly from earlier in the sale. Wouldn't want you to miss out because I don't know which Dragonfly you wanted. Okay. So 90 like it is, 110 sharpen on Spider Code Dragonfly 2 K390. Next up, it's a Spider Co. And it is a smock carbon fiber from Taichung, Taiwan. You betcha. Here it is. The new style deeply textured carbon fiber over G10 laminate. The button actuated compression lock mechanism. A low profile frontish flipper that operates rather conventionally. That super cool sort of sheep's footy blade. And this cut, this choil, it does accommodate a finger and a forward grip, but it really is for clearance for that button mechanism when the knife is closed, but it looks super cool. Blade steel on the smock is S30V. Bi-directional satin. The thing looks like it means business, doesn't it? Ball bearing mechanism. Perfect centering. Compression lock lockup is perfect. Flipping action is perfect. Condition on the smock is near meant to like new. These are actually back in stock. At least they are yesterday when I looked. Um, 175 map pricing for a new one. This one can be yours. It's a beautiful example and it's about like new in the box. Shipped priority mail 150, 150. 170 if you'd like it to come to you with an Apostle P Edge. That is the Spider Co. Smock. Next up, it's Timeless Classic Time. It's a Benchmade 556 Mini Griptilian, but it's a Dash S30V. I think this is the new regular production steel. I think the 154 CM grips are extinct. But yep, it's just your normal garden variety Mini Grip. Black Norrell GTX. But look, I don't know if it came like this or my customer s switched it, but that ain't a painted clip, guys. That is a parkerized Emerson-style clip. I think it'd be great if Benchmade would just ditch those painted clips altogether because they suck. Uh, but yeah, that's a dialed-in little knife right there. Yep, drop point blade, saber ground, S30V, nice free dropper. Rock solid lockup, and let's see. Down the middle centering. So, price. You can buy one of these brand new at your favorite online retailer for $106, or just buy this one. I'm going to say it's like new in the box. $75. $75. $95 with an Apostle P. Edge. I know it's not Christmas yet, but <clears throat> if you got a young person that you want to turn into a knife nut, this is his gateway drug, always has been. So 75 like it is, 95 sharpened on the Benchmade 556-S30V mini grip. Next up. Mm. Got a lot going on, guys. Oh. From Chris Reeve Knives. 
it is a small Inkosi inlay. Mm -hmm. A small Inkosi inlay. Here it is. Oh, look at that little stunner. I forgot to show the card. Birthday, March 24th, 2020. The inlay is black canvas micarta. It is a Tonto with an S35VN blade. Uh -huh, look at that. I couldn't find a trail or a scratch anywhere in that handle. Lanyard's still affixed. There's your Tonto blade, unmolested, pristine. Yep. There's your lock engagement with that big ceramic ball lock interface. Action's beautiful. Centering's perfect. Condition, I'm gonna say near mint to like new in the box. <clears throat> They're currently out of stock everywhere. When they are available, current pricing, brand new, is $475 for an inlaid small and cozy. This one can be yours, like it is, $395. If you'd like it with an Apostle Pee Edge, $420. That is the Chris Reeve Small and Cozy Tonto. Next up. We're going to finish the sale with the exception of the very last item, which is not a knife. We're going to finish the sale with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Great Eastern Cutlery knives. First, from the Great Eastern Cutlery Titty line, we have an 062219 Pemberton. In a muslin micarta with the bar shield satin hardware blade set spear main coping secondary pull weight I'm gonna say is a six six and a half perfect walk and talk both blades nicely centered condition on this one I'm gonna call like new in the tube Beautiful example. Your price, 80 bucks shipped priority mail. 105 if you'd like my edge on both blades. That is the GEC Titty number 06 Pemberton. Next up, oh, this is so funny. So funny. Oh, yep. From Great Eastern Cutlery's Titty Cutlery line, it is the Urban Jack. Now, for those of you who don't know, Bill Howard is a funny, funny guy. Mm -hmm. This knife is in your face, no holds barred, making fun of millennials with bushy beards and flannel shirts who have never been outside the concrete jungle. It's hilarious. It also comes with the button. Here's the knife. Well, it's just a... Uh, Number 15, right? Three and a half inch standard jack. Uh, kind of a cool shield. OD canvas micarta with satin hardware and a, you know, just a spear point main. There's your bearded millennial again. Um, but it's a tube blader. It's a number 152221. What's the second implement? Well, it kind of looks like it might be some kind of a one arm knife, but no. It's a beard comb. No, it's not. It says right here, bar tool. Yep, this is to comb the beard you don't need. <laughs> I love it. So let's see, pull weight, seven. Walk and talk, squared away. Implement centering, squared away. Condition, like new in the tube. Near meant to like new in the tube, you might find a scuff in the satin maybe maybe uh, all steel construction by the way bolsters liners all steel so near mint to like new in tube with button uh, your price 150 150 like it is 165 for me to sharpen the blade and I'll even uh, you know pick the dandruff out of the tines of the comb if you like that is the GC Titty number 15, Urban Jack. Next up, let's get serious. Okay. Another one from the Titty product line. 
of great eastern cutlery, celebrated pocket cutlery, made of the best 1095 high carbon steel, and at the top, Tidiute Cutlery, trademark, good as gold. So we have a number 152121, Tidiute Cutlery Barlow in rose gold acrylic. Oh, prepare to be stunned. Oh my, oh my, oh. Single spear point on this one, seven pull. Cut swedge, long pull, good as gold etch. All steel construction, walk and talk exemplary. Centering very close to perfect, if not perfect. Condition, like new in the tube. Let's see. Um, believe it or not, guys, sold listings on eBay for this knife between 238 and 323. This one, though, it's rendezvous week. Let's make a deal. Somebody gets a heck of a nice knife for 225. 225 shipped priority mail. 240 if you'd like it with an Apostle PH. That's the GEC Titty number 15 Barlow. Next up, oh, long reach. From the Great Eastern Cutlery, Titty Cutlery product line, we have a Huckleberry Boys knife. Oh, gotta love this knife. Model number 151118 in red linen micarta. With button. I own this knife in black linen and love it. I should probably just keep this. Uh, all steel construction, bare end, steel bolster, polished red linen, and that stunning clip point to end all clip points. Long pull, cut swedge. And this one's got, I mean, it might be a seven and a half. Let me wipe this blade. That might have the, the the strongest pull of any 15 I've ever had in my hand. Yeah, my, I'm going to call it seven and a half. Listen to that walk and talk. Centering pretty much down the middle. Condition on the all steel 15 boys knife. I'm going to say near mint to like new. In the tube with button. Um, you can't find them new. I only found one red linen. Just like this on eBay sold listings, it was 169 sold gone. This one can be yours, shipped priority mail, $140, 140, 155 with an Apostle P edge that's in your inventory as GC Tidute, number 15, boys knife. Next up, we'll just keep rolling on with the GEC party. From the Tidute cutlery line, of pocket knives we have a number 19 little rattler model 190120 in red coral canvas micarta it comes with maybe the coolest button they've ever made the little rattler button here is the knife and a superb fifth pocket blue jeans knife I don't know if it's a two and a half inches or something close Close length, very, very small. You have that awesome, cool shield. You got satin hardware, which they always do with canvas micarta. There's your red coral and a gorgeous little warning. Uh -huh. The little rattler etch. Notice the serpentine, almost seahorse pattern, like a 38. 38 divided by 2 is 19. It's half a 38. Condition on this one is near mint and tube with button. Pull weight, five and a half. Perfect walk and talk, perfect centering. Let's see. Like new and tube with button, how about 85 bucks, guys? 85. 
for the GEC Titty number 19 Little Rattler Red Coral in your inventory. Why did I have to specify that? Because the next knife is also a Titty Cutlery Little Rattler. Also model number 190120. This one in smooth white bone. Comes with that little Rattler button. Here is the knife. Look at that little beauty, would ya? Oh. Notice how the smooth white bone is already starting to pick up a little of that natural bronzing patina. I love that stuff. Polished hardware on this one, polished shield. There's your little Warren Cliff blade. Five and a half pull. Perfect walk and talk. Perfect centering. Might be a little scuffy from the pocket on the just a very superficial smudge on that bolster. So we'll call it near mint in tube. Beautiful example. So near mint in tube with button on the smooth white bone little rattler. Your price 95 bucks. 95 like it is 110 with an apostle pH. That's in your inventory is GEC Titty number 19 little rattler S. WB for smooth white bone. Next up, another great Eastern Cutlery Tidute offering. It's the number 62 Pocket Carver, model 620320 in Cocobolo wood with the Pocket Carver button. And here's the knife. The 62 Congress pattern with the big, gorgeous pocket carver shield curve to match the sway back of the knife. Brass liners, nickel, silver bolsters. Now this kind of is kind of an interesting knife for GEC because I don't think they've, Steve Denton, correct me if I'm wrong, how about the truth, but I don't think they've ever made a catch bit two spring, three blade Whitler, but that's what this is. All worn cliff blades. There's your main. And all on half stops. Beautiful walk and talk. Uh, pull, on, pull on the main, I'm going to say, is a seven. Walk and talk is perfect. The centering of all three blades is beautiful. Let me open these secondaries for you. So it doesn't have the split back wedge no liner down the center just a liner on the blade well side to keep the blades from rubbing against each other and I think that catch bit is in brass can you see that right there so yeah not quite as complex a design as like a 38 split back or a 56 split back but a really cool user wood Whitland knife um, near mint in tube with button uh, sold list these have gone up since they sold out sold listings on eBay for this knife between 168 and 185 this one can be yours like it is for 130 if, with all three blades sharpened 165 that's the GEC Tidute number 62 pocket carver next up it's our lone Northfield unexcelled pocket knife in tonight's sale. It is the number 922219 Eureka Jack in Sam Marstag. Just take a look at this beauty. Oh my. Oh my. Uh -huh. There's your show side. There's your pile side. There's your match. Right? The Eureka, of course, has a beautiful polished cut swedge, long match striker pull, spear point main. Uh, walk and talks, just stunning. Six, six and a half pull weight on this one. Secondary coping blade. I didn't wipe. <laughs> oh, Rob. 
Isn't that what Laura Petra used to say? Oh, Rob. Oh, what a stunner. And just a detail about the Eureka that I love. Notice how the back spring wraps clear over to cover up some of that too long blade well from the coping blade. I just love that. This knife is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, near mint to like new in the tube. Everything's squared away. Your price, 180 180 like it is. 205 if you like my edge on both blades. You will not hurt my feelings if nobody buys this. At all. Because I'll be happy to keep it. It's a consignment knife, but... I love the Eureka. I don't own one in stag. So yeah. you, you can buy it, but if you don't, it's okay. <laughs> okay, that brings us to the last item in tonight's sale. Man, it, it's good that this follows the GEC contingent because it's not a knife. It's a Seiko. And this is, you know, if the early 2000s, 2010s were sort of the golden age of Seiko, mechanical automatic watches this is like the one right gray box extra padding pillow extra links for the bracelet no paperwork for this but it does have the original box this is a Japanese domestic market or JDM Seiko it is the now discontinued SARG009 is a lot of people think it emulates a Rolex Explorer. That's really not what Seiko was after. Uh, it's their interpretation of a pilot watch. So it's a 40 millimeter case, polished sides, signed polished crown, brushed lug tops. The edge of the bezel is polished and then the top is circularly brushed. It wears the same pin and collar bracelet as the Sarb series, like the Sarb 033 and 035, and the Alpinist, which, you know, it's a love it or hate it bracelet. Um, I think this is a single dome sapphire crystal because it gives you a little distortion and it's very slightly boxed. The movement is the 6R15 that you can see through that Hardlex crystal. So, Dia Shock protection, silicon or spron hairspring. Uh, yeah. It is a date function watch. Probably 100 meters of water resistance. I didn't look, but it does not have a screw down crown. Um, super legible watch, guys. The Arabic numerals, the stick markers, the hands, all loomed with Seiko's Lumabrite. And I'll throw in a loom shot for you to give you an idea what that looks like. Not sure the picture does it justice. It's a torch. It's almost like sumo good. Uh, lug to lug, or, I'm sorry, lug width is 20. Lug to lug is 47. Thickness barely 12, so not overly thick. These are long discontinued and extremely sought after, guys. Now, there are some flea bites on this. There's one little, like, rub in the polish here from line it, you know, crown up. There's a little scuff in the brush bezel here. There are very light dust rash marks in the bracelet. But for a watch that's probably, what, five or six years old now, it's very nice. Um, <clears throat> they are gone. They were never sold in America. They're an icon. Uh, completed listings on eBay for watches like this between seven and $800 now. This one can be yours, shipped priority mail. $6.99. $6.99 on the Seiko SARG009. And that brings us to the end of another knife and watch sale on the Apostle P channel. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go hang out with my slip joint homies. Hey, buddy, can I give you a slippy? Grace to you and peace, my friends. From God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, remember, the word is sharp. Now commence to clicking.